Welcome everybody to this Gundam review. This is Like It's 1985 and today's review is going to be on the 1 to 100 uh, dual Gundam with the Assault Shroud. Now of course he's in his standard mode here without his uh, Assault Shroud armor on. Now one of the features I really like about this particular model kit, uh, starting up top if we look at the uh, head, and as you can see it has a little what I call a visor right above where the eyes are. And that's a really unique look. I haven't seen that before. Uh, and so I really like that uh, that uniqueness with that uh, with the head there. The other thing I like um, moving to the back. I, oh, I do like the uh, the thruster pack here. That really looks nice to have uh, you know four thrusters in the back there like that. But also uh, I like the fact that they positioned the beam hilts uh, on the uh, the back side here. You know it's kind of reminds me of what a traditional swords master would have them at uh, across his back like that and I really like when they, they put the beam hilts there. Um, by the way these are painted with a silver metallic uh, sharpie. They normally would be white but I thought I'd just give it a little uh, little pizzazz there. Now this is going to sound kind of strange but I, I find that the uh, crotch piece here is kind of a unique style. It's definitely, uh, I, I've not seen it before. I'm sure you know it might have been used in the past but I think that's for me a unique design. Uh, and it doesn't really have any side skirts except for these, well, I mean, it's, uh, skirts, but it just has the skirt armor on the side, rather. And very uh, small compared to some of the other model kits. Um, that's about it as far as the, uh, you know, the unique features I found with a model kit. Um, articulation is going to be pretty standard. This is, a, again, like I say, a non-grade or a standard grade. I kind of prefer to call them standard grade. Anyhow, uh, the only kind of differences you'll find these pieces here will... Uh, articulate like that. Um, of course you've got the uh, the beam hilt holders. These uh, rotate a little bit so you can articulate them. Uh, there's not a whole lot of waist articulation because of this uh, uh, unique uh, type of uh, waist armor here. And the rest is pretty standard. There's uh, you know a, a 90 degree bend there. Um, legs bend. Uh, they have been okay. They've been kind of like like that, and that's all you that's all the bend you're going to get with the uh, with the leg. So uh, let's go and take a look at the accessories, uh, and before we move on to the actual assault shroud. So starting off with the shield, uh, otherwise it would be a plain uh, standard issue, you know, Gundam Seed Seed Destiny shield. I, what I did is I took the silver metallic sharpie and painted the silver or painted the uh, the white parts. And I don't know why I did this, but I painted the back too. So you can see the silver metallic uh, Sharpie again. I didn't really need to do that just to get the effect. It kind of just looks kind of a little more different from this, you know, from what the, the Ho-Hum standard issue uh, shield you get. Uh, you get two beams, of course, to go with the beam sabers. Uh, and you get a unchanged figure of Isaac Jewel, uh, the pilot of this particular uh, mobile suit. And finally, last but certainly not least, in my mind, you get the uh, technical term for it is the high energy beam rifle with grenade launcher. So this is a really unique looking beam uh, rifle, as you can see. It's different enough that I, I really took notice of it. It's not your quote unquote standard issue <laughs> beam rifle. And it's got a grenade launcher. I think this is what that part is there. But uh, really cool. And it's got a sticker. You can see a green metallic sticker there for the... Uh, the scope, so really cool, and it comes with an extra right, yeah, right hand to hold the the gun. So very nice. You can see I've got the pieces laid out in order to build the assault shroud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, the legs and then move my way up to the top of the uh, the, the mobile suit. And uh, instead of you know showing you both legs, I'll just show you you know or both arms. I'll just show you one arm, one leg, so you get you can get the idea of how it goes on, but you don't have to watch the process uh, twice. So focusing on the right leg, you've got a shin piece to cover up the shin, and this goes on to the outside uh, side of the leg. Take this piece and put it on the front of the leg. Then you want to take this piece here, and it slides into these two slots. Like so. 
Now as we rotate around, you'll notice that there is a part of the leg that is uncovered. Now that is actually by design, and uh, I thought for a while that they were, they were skimping on plastic, but it turns out that is by design, and it is how the um, mobile suit is displayed in the anime. Now here is a shot of the backside of the dual Gundam with his assault shroud uh, armored on him. As you can see, the edge of the actual shielding goes to there, and if you look at the actual model kit, it also reflects that. So there was no uh, intent by Bandai to skimp on armor here. It's just how the uh, dual Gundam with assault shroud is displayed in the actual anime. This piece here is going to cover the crotch area of the Gundam. And when you get done, it should look like this. Next, this piece will cover this area here. Like that. Take this chest armor, and as you can see, it has some grooves. These grooves go over these tabs right here and right there. And when attached, it should look like this. And these two pieces will provide protection for his arm. To start, first remove the hand, then take this piece and peg it into the bottom of his forearm. Like so. Take this piece here, slide it over the wrist, so that the two pieces lock together like that. And then take the hand and put it back onto the wrist like so. Take these two pieces and attach them over the shoulder. Take this railgun and insert it onto this post. For the left shoulder, there actually is a different sort of armor. This will flip down and it has uh, uh, missile pods. Now unfortunately on mine, I got a little too overzealous last uh, night and I broke it. So trust, trust me, this will flip down and will reveal some missile pods. As you can see, it too attaches in a similar fashion as the right shoulder armor. Last, but certainly not least, take the thruster and peg this into that hole there. Like so. So after a high protein diet and many trips to the gym, the Dual Gundam is ready to kick some ass. As you can see, the Dual Gundam with Assault Shroud makes a nice companion to the Buster Gundam. And if you really want to get crazy, Kira Yamato in the Launcher Strike Gundam can join in the fun. I do have to say I really like this uh, 1 to 100 non gray kit. Um, the fact that you can uh, put the armor on uh, just adds a whole another level of playability to the actual Gundam itself. Now, the other thing that I really like is the, uh, the rail gun that mounts on his uh, right shoulder. And the rail gun really reminds me a lot of the Predator, you know, with his uh, shoulder mounted cannon that he has in the Predator movies. Uh, so that's really a nice uh, design element as well. And uh, 
I got this uh, kit at Gundam Store and More for 23 bucks, and it took me a couple nights to build it. So it was a pretty pretty quick build, you know, a couple you know a few hours here and there. Um, so it was a nice nice easy build. Um, so yeah, I, I I do recommend it. I also you know if you have the Buster Gundam, he makes a, a very nice companion to the Buster Gundam. So uh, uh, definitely would look good on your display shelf next to the Buster Gundam. Okay, so this has been my review of the non-grade 1-100 to dual Gundam with Assault Shroud. Thank you so much for watching.